the pandemic, a number of celebrities, athletes, and personalities decided it was time to share their truths with the public. Stay tuned to see who came out and don't forget to subscribe and leave a friendly comment below to support this channel. Stay tuned. Pig Roberts is an alpine skier and was part of the U.S. ski team. He competed in over 30 World Cups. After retiring, he moved to Norway to work in finance. In late December, he came out on social media and stated he was gay. Then he sat down with an interview for Out Sports. I eventually knew I would come to embrace who I was, but to speak about it out loud and to um, uh, really take some time to uh, decompress from my ski career. And I thought uh, I was ready. So I felt very prepared and it's been an incredible uh, journey thus far. And uh, I'm breathing again and um, life feels gentle and easier than it has in a long time. The gorgeous model Adonis Boso is Ivorian Canadian. He has modeled for Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford, Yeezy, and Gap. He has a son with the model Slick Woods. In an interview, he stated that dating Slick allowed him to realize that he was sexually fluid. Check out the full interview on thecut.com. most known for being a contestant on America's Next Top Model, Cycle 20, Marvin Cortez has continued to model and started his own beauty business, Beauty by Marvin. He came out as bisexual on Twitter in August, stating that he has loved both men and women. Congratulations to Marvin. Janik Schumann is a German actor and producer. He has played in over 50 films. In 2016, he starred in Center of My World, a Gay Romance. It's available on Amazon Prime, by the way. His co-star is Lewis Hoffman from Dark on Netflix. You have to watch Dark. It is one of the best original Netflix series on right now. At the end of December, Janik came out on Instagram with a photo of his boyfriend. Carl Nassib is a player for the Las Vegas Raiders and is the first active NFL player to come out. Here is what he had to say. I you know, just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. Max Parker is an English actor most known for his work on Emmerdale. He appeared in his first film in 2016. He came out in late December and met his boyfriend on the set of Emmerdale.
Colton Underwood was the lead on the 23rd season of The Bachelor. In February, he came out as gay in an interview with Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. Here's what he had to say. Um, I've ran from myself for a long time. I've hated myself for a long time and I'm gay. And I came to terms with that earlier this year and have been processing it. There was a swift backlash from the Bachelor fan base over abuse allegations and even more so, so when he secured a deal from Netflix. Will you be watching that show? Leave a comment to let me know. Marco Lehman is a pro basketball player from Switzerland. The 27 year old came out in an article that he wrote for FIBA magazine. On social media, he simply commented, hashtag love is love. In a sit down interview, he stated, the world tour final is going to be my last tournament as a normal heterosexual man as I decided to come out. Raymond Gutierrez is a Filipino TV host, editor, and entrepreneur. He went to Beverly Hills High School in California, but now lives in the Philippines. In August, he came out in the cover story for Mega Entertainment Magazine. He said, I'm here to finally say, I'm a proud member of the LGBTQ community. Please check out the full interview. It is a great story. He was once rumored to be dating a male model by the name of Brian C, but never confirmed it. I will be stalking his Instagram to find out who he's dating now. Mark Waschke, I know I butchered that. He's a German actor who played in Dark, by the way, came out in February along with 185 German actors for more visibility amongst the LGBT community on stage and screen. He identifies as queer. Also check him out in the movie And Me, which is a bisexual romance with a steamy scene with Charles Howard, who is Jamaican and English. Lamon Leroy Gibba, who also came out with Mark, is an actor and director. Out of the 185 German actors that came out together, many of them were stage actors, like Mehmet. Charlie Cashew was on the wrestling team at Boston University. Then he became a professional wrestler. On Twitter during Pride Month, he wrote, proud to share that I'm a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. My label is fluid. I've identified as gay, bi, pan, ace, and others. Congratulations to Charlie. I think about a hundred wrestlers came out during the month of Pride this year. Another wrestler that came out is Jaden, who came out as bisexual because of the love of his young daughter. He does not want her to be afraid to express herself when she grows up. I really wish more parents thought like this. I really love that it is easier for younger individuals to come out and be supported by their respective communities. Justin Lay Evans is a Belgian pro cyclist he is 20 years old and he is part of a small handful of pro cyclists who are out. He came out in a Belgian cycling publication. And this is his boyfriend. They look so cute together. Pro rugby player Devin Ibanez is signed to the New England Free Jacks team. The love of his boyfriend, Fergus, and being able to celebrate their love publicly helped him to come out on social media. This is them together and they are adorable. Grant Morrison is a comic book writer for DC Comics. He has written for Doom Patrol, Batman, New X-Men, and 
2000 AD. In late 2020, he came out as non-binary and genderqueer. He uses they pronouns. Jamal Howlett Mundell is a defender with the Sheppey United Football Club. He came out to his teammates in a moving video. Check it out. I think most people probably know this already, but I'm bisexual and I know that within football there's a sort of a stigma, but I'm sort of saying personal though. I feel as though I love you guys. Like I really do. I really do. No, honestly, like, yeah. I just felt like I'm not prepared to hide anymore, to be honest. I don't feel as though I have to. I don't feel as though I should, same as anybody else. That so any other sexuality, I don't feel that there's any need to hide. Since coming out, he has used his platform to address homophobia and support LGBT causes. Chris Stockman is a YouTuber, filmmaker, and film critic. He has close to 2 million subscribers on YouTube and 200,000 followers on Twitter. He came out as pansexual on his YouTube channel. It is a moving video. It's titled, How I Left the Jehovah's Witness to Pursue Filmmaking. Check it out. Uchi is a Nollywood actor and influencer. He came out in February on social media and had this to say. Don't let anybody intimidate you. Come out, show your identity. You are who you are, boy. You are who you are. Don't let anybody intimidate you. I be gay. I don't be full of the X man. And I'm proud. I really love this story. Nats Getty was born into the uber wealthy Getty family. They came out as trans non-binary. Their partner, their partner is also trans, Gigi Gorgeous. Nats is close friends with Got Mick who is a trans male contestant from Drag Race. You can watch their transition journey on Gigi's YouTube channel. Jojo Siwa is a dancer, singer, and YouTube personality most known for appearing on Dance Moms. She came out as being part of the LGBTQ plus community in January. JB's is a gorgeous black trans woman and daughter of Angela Stanton King, a popular conservative who was pardoned by Trump to get out of jail in 2020. They appeared on the Dr. Phil show and it did not go well. You can check out the full video online. Den Michelle is a writer and editor and contributor to the successful podcast Food for Thought. She came out as trans on social media and wrote, I'm a reader, a writer, a former figure skater, and a black trans woman. So happy to meet you. Maggie Hassan is an actress most known for her roles on The Finder and the YouTube series Impulse. She came out as bi in January. John Weaver, co-founder of The Lincoln Project and a Republican political consultant, came out amid a scandal. He is accused of sending unwanted sexual texts to over 20 men. Actress Mary Wiseman is most known for starring in Star Trek Discovery for Paramount Plus. She came out as queer and has dated all genders. Star Trek Discovery has a gay storyline with Wilson Cruz and a non-binary storyline. Definitely check it out. In January, Bollywood fashion designer Saisha Shinde came out as a trans woman on Instagram. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment below, like this video, tip me on Venmo if you really like the video. Tell me who surprised you and who you will be following on social media. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Bezos.